It is humbling, exciting. It is something that had never crossed my mind to do, but it also makes me feel good because I get to give back to the institution I care the most about, the Smithsonian. Mm -hmm. This has been the job of my career, you know, the best thing I've ever done. And now to sort of have to leave, um, even to do something important, but to leave it is really something that's painful. Well, my whole career has been about kicking down doors and breaking ceilings and trying to help people understand that both African-American culture and African-Americans are central to who we are as Americans. My hope is that this will um, give people a sense of optimism and hope. It will let people know that there are doors you can kick down um, and that a little creativity, hard work, and a bit of luck may get you there. But maybe more than anything else, what I hope is it creates a, a groundswell of possibility that people will say, I can do this too, whether it's in the field of chemistry or the field of museums. So I recognize, but I'll never get caught up in it, but I recognize the symbolic value of this. Um, I guess the best way I could recognize it is that my phone's blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> We felt it was crucial to craft a museum that would help America remember and confront. I wasn't even sure when they asked me to, to you know, go for this job that they'd hire somebody like me, that they'd hire an insider, they'd hire a curator, they'd hire a historian. Um, and so in a way, this is also a wonderful day for the Smithsonian to sort of say it's a place that embraces all of what America is um, and is comfortable with diversity of leadership and vision. So for me, this is less about a triumph for me and more about the Smithsonian recognizing what it takes to lead in the 21st century. What do you expect to do on day one? Try to remember how to stop smiling. <laughs>